Hi right, guys, VTech here. So here we are. This is very, very exciting. It's uh, August 8th, uh, 19th. So uh, a partial crew showed up to do the uh, uh, initial trim work on the garage that you saw earlier. And uh, I had to finish this wall. Uh, they recommended I actually make this nice and flush. Um, I forgot about it actually. Uh, the doors here are kind of recessed into the container. So I just did a non-structural kind of like spacer uh, wall, if you will. Um, and I got normal OSB sheeting, not the zip, because this isn't structural at all. Um, and I'm trying to figure out what to do uh, here. I uh, one, one particular item, too, is uh, I'm cutting just this is regular uh, half-inch OSB. Uh, $17, yay. Uh, dropped quite considerably. Um, anyway, I'm putting it in. I put the 2 bys up into the uh, container using uh, sheet metal screws that go through it into metal. So they're, they're specialized screws. They're kind of a pain to use. Uh, because they sometimes don't bite into the metal um, and you ruin a couple screws before you do. But anyway, they're huge. They uh, hold really well and uh, done. Uh, the other thing was, you um, <laughs> saw me thinking there, uh, AC, uh, the air handler is going up in the attic here on the very far side of the, the container. So I had to cut a bigger hole. You just saw that pop out. Um, and it's, it's 21 by 21 by, I believe, 4 feet tall. Something like 48 inches or 52 inches, one of the two. But it can be, uh, it could lay down, uh, the orientation could be laying down, and I need at least 21 inches to get it into the uh, attic. So that's plenty right there. And I'm going to make a door, an access door, um, that will be able to open and close um, to get into the attic. There won't be much else in there. Uh, well, uh, maybe some uh, uh, water lines, but that's about it. Um, and then the air handler and a little bit of ducting for the uh, game room. Um, and that's it. So anyway, finish that up and then uh, got ready for the roofers to, to come back uh, the following Monday uh, for the 23rd. Okay, so the metal guys are here. It's August 23rd and uh, Pedro and his crew showed up. This is from Job Masius. It's uh, specialty metal roofing from uh, San Antonio. Uh, this is uh, Job's brother, uh, Pedro, and uh, he's running the uh, machine and stuff, making all the, the, the die panels. Um, we're, we're doing full seam, seamless panels all the way from the top to the bottom of the roof. Uh, they're going to basically uh, spend hours cutting a whole bunch of panels and then they stack them uh, on the driveway and some on the roof and they'll come back uh, the next day to start installing. So the first day was basically just uh, measuring everything up and then uh, cutting them up uh, and uh, putting them on the roof so they could come back the next day and just, just install. Here's a good look. They have a this big platform that they use to uh, feed the, the panels out. Uh, so it's fairly flat, and then uh, they need several guys to actually hold it so it won't bend because uh, they're they're substantially long. So they went through. You can see one roll already gone. So uh, I, I don't even know how many feet are on there, but it, you know it doesn't really matter to me. But <laughs> they have, so all the roof has to get dug. But uh, it's it's considerable amount of footage, um, and I think there's two more rolls or maybe three more that are coming so uh, quite a bit of uh, material and uh, here you see it all piled up on the driveway there's a uh, whiskey in inspecting everything um, and the guys they're just trying to figure out where to put the uh, panels on the roof there they go and uh, they start getting ready for the following day this took them hours to do um, obviously the panels have to get the dyed you know made and then they uh, stack them and uh, make sure they have enough for all the, all the different roof sections Okay, and they're done for the day. They're packing up their extensions and uh, they're gone and they're going to come back the next day and start the install. So August 24th, yay, it was good to see them. So they uh, started uh, finishing up the trim work on the uh, the, uh, the, the top roof, or the main roof uh, as we call it. And uh, once they did that, they they did a pretty quick job on that and they started doing the, uh, the panels right away afterwards. So as they, uh, the first one, I guess, is they're, 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 they line everything up, make sure everything's kind of square, and then they uh, cut one of the edges off on the panel. There you see a guy using a, it's kind of a shear, and uh, then they attach it to the drip edge that they put on earlier, and uh, then they start laying out the panels from left to right. 
Uh, the vantage point, of course, you know, we're a little far away, so you don't see their details. We'll have a little closer video of this in the uh, follow-up videos, but for the most part, they did, uh, they're doing a nice job. Uh, it's looking really good. By the end of the day, the roof was there, and it look, looks fantastic. As part of the, uh, the outside uh, panels, they have to bend everything over um, for water control, of course. So you see them doing a lot of work. One guy's shearing a little bit off, and then the, uh, the others are bending and smashing the, uh, the panels shut. So uh, when they're done, everything's nice and tight, um, very, very watertight and uh, looking great. So once the first panel was put on, the other ones basically, you know, they just snap together and they start screwing them and uh, bending the ends, top and bottom, for the, uh, so they clip onto the uh, drip edge. So this, this seemed to go pretty quick. Uh, obviously, it, um, it's a big roof. Uh, system so um, it's taking them a while to do everything there's quite a few screws and the uh, fasteners etc but uh, you can see how fast it's going the, the panels lay down pretty good um, obviously the uh, the roof's kind of large so they're trying to not bend the panels when they carry them up there that was uh, they had three guys the day before and they couldn't carry the panels without uh, potentially creasing them so they, they didn't do it um, they waited until they had four guys and that that made sense so you can see Pedro down at the bottom he's bending the, the uh, sections over the drip edge and the guy on top does the same thing so pretty cool So yeah, they're working on the, uh, the flashing for the chimney. So it's, it's a pretty straightforward chimney. It's just a little rectangle in there. And uh, so they just keep flashing around it and then they start piling the rest of the roof. So the chimney did take them a little while to do. I guess they, were, they have to cut everything pretty much uh, to fit. Uh, there's not a, like a flashing kit or anything like that they're using. They're, they're cutting everything by hand, measuring it up. Um, they seem to do it pretty quickly from what I could tell. I'm sure it would take me five times longer. So I'm happy to pay these guys. <laughs> uh, they look like they know what they're doing. And uh, I, I could lay the flat panels down, but the rest of it, yeah, maybe not. So anyway, uh, it's coming along really nice. We're, we're enjoying the uh, process. And uh, they had this one main section of the roof done that day. Um, and it started getting nice and hot. Um, it was probably hitting closer to the 100 mark. Uh, you can see them all wrapped up in uh, clothes so they don't get sunburned up there. And uh, off they went. So now they're done with the flashing. They finished up nailing everything down, I suppose, and then they uh, um, actually screwing it, not nailing. And then they start with the rest of the panels and they move on to the rest of the roof. So I'll reduce the commentary out here because obviously they're just doing a rinse and repeat, like putting the panels down, screwing them down, etc. And uh, in a few minutes you'll see the end of the, uh, the, the roof being done and uh, they're done for the day. Um, it did get extremely hot, um, so that was, it was, I believe, around 2 o'clock. 30 when they, they gave it up. Um, they didn't give it up, they just uh, finished their main task for the day and uh, come back the next day and continue. Um, this is part one, of course, of the roof. Um, I'm videotaping pretty much everything else, time lapsing it, so you'll see the process, um, all the other roof sections that they're doing. Uh, a couple of them are going to be, I think, pretty straightforward for them. A couple of them going to be interesting because uh, the middle roof is recessed in between the containers, so I'm, I'm assuming that's going to take a little more time because they have to do the wall sections. So we'll see. It should. It's interesting either way.
So yeah, they're getting ready to do the last few sections. So this is the uh, last part of the video uh, for this for today. Um, it was around, I believe they went around two o'clock. It was getting pretty warm, like I said. Um, and uh, when they left, I started working on the F-350 trying to fix the uh, 7.3 liter stupid injector cup thing. Um, I'll, I'll have a video on that as well. I'm not part of the house, but uh, I'm videotaping the process of doing those um, and continuing with that. But anyway, back to the house. So the last few panels go in. Um, they make this look pretty, pretty quick. And uh, on, off they went. So anyway, appreciate you guys visiting and watching. Uh, hope you're enjoying the show. You know, this is more of a, uh, a process, how to build uh, a house. It's going as slow as uh, the processes require. So uh, we're doing the best we can um, in, in all respects. I think we're, we're on a pretty good timeline. Um, I still have to get uh, finish up a tiny bit of the uh, electrical. I, I forgot to buy more clips to finish that up. Um, so I'm going to finishing th that this week. Uh, that's for the sub panel um, management. The wires make them nice and tidy. And then later on, we'll be shoving them into the uh, the, the breaker box. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I'll videotape that, of course. But anyway, uh, next bit of order will be more roof. Um, and then I'm going to continue uh, doing the rough and plumbing for. Um, I'm going to start with the venting uh, of the piping because that's going to be um, the harder part. Um, although I do want to do the uh, the wet wet piping, which is all the the drains from the shower, the sinks, and the the toilet, uh, which go into a main stack. So I'm going to try doing that and then the venting uh, for those as well. Anyway, appreciate it. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.